Okay, everybody, I'm gonna do something a little different. Uh, this is gonna be with my GoPro and doing some video. Uh, if you end up doing video with your, your camera or something like that, uh, gonna have the GoPro inside my car. Uh, but the last time I did it, it's like you couldn't really t give a feel for the car driving around. Uh, so I've got my wireless microphone set here and I've got the adapter for an external microphone to go with the GoPro. So the idea is I'm going to take the microphone and I'm going to hang it out the back of the car to get the sound from the road and the exhaust. And it's just uh, about an hour after sunrise here on Blue Ridge Parkway. So some of the colors are starting to come in a little bit in some places. And uh, I'm actually uh, heading north on the parkway and gaining elevation. So we're going to see how this ride comes out. First test run on this, uh, the engine noise was a lot louder than I expected. Um, and then the camera didn't automatically flip upside down. So I'm gonna readjust the location of the microphone, get it, bring it up just a little bit, uh, and hopefully it'll be a little bit better sound on that. Better. The placement of that, the microphone placement now is a lot better than what it was before. It's not, the, the exhaust sound isn't overpowering the microphone and cutting stuff out. So I'm um, going to kind of keep on heading up north because I think uh, the colors are a lot better up there. Take some more photos. But on my way back, I'm going to do this again. And the car won't be under so much load. It'll be more drifting down. So it'll be a totally different experience on that. So uh, once I get up the mountain and turn around and head back, I'll show you the difference on that. All right, I'm ready to head back down the mountain. Uh, I'm gonna show you a couple other tips I thought of if you have any idea of wanting to do this yourself. The way I mounted the camera, I got the little, uh, small little selfie stick that comes with, came with my GoPro. Uh, just kind of put it underneath this, and then the camera's hanging down right here. Uh, one other thing I thought of was maybe you can make a set of blinders 
to put around the camera because you do get a lot of reflection off the windshield. And I noticed in the when watching the other video as I was driving, if I had my hand on top of the steering wheel, you can kind of see the reflection of my hand. So I'm going to try to drive with my hands on the bottom part of the steering wheel. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit different on the sound because I'm going downhill. It's just coasting. Uh, now this is a car with a two-speed power glide transmission. So sometimes if it if I go too slow, it'll kick down into first gear and you'll hear that the engine rev up a little bit on that. So uh, we'll see how it does. off the parkway I'm gonna head down uh, highway 19 back into Maggie Valley so this is a twisty turny road here uh, I'm gonna plug the external microphone back in and let y'all listen
right, I made it back down here into Maggie Valley. Uh, you might have heard a little bit of uh, tire noise coming down the road. Yeah, I remember it's I had skinny 13 inch tires on the car. Uh, if I had wider tires, I'd probably have a little bit better grip, but uh, I've auto crossed that car before on a closed course, so kind of know the limits of the car. Um, but if you're going to do this on your car, just uh, play around with the placement of your microphone so you can get a good uh, good feedback from it so it's not too loud, not too soft, where you're not getting a lot of wind noise or anything like that. Uh, I also noticed uh, the microphone cutting in and out a little bit. Uh, that might have been just from the signal getting from the back of the car to the front. It's, it's old car, it's all steel. Uh, it's probably not the best of signals getting in there to it. So I'll have to work on that for, uh, later, see if there's a another place I can put the transmitter or something like that but uh, like I said if you uh, make sure you like the video and sus subscribe to the channel and then uh, that way you'll get notified of upcoming videos thanks